Hi, my name is Sean Trinante, and I did a rehab program for post-surgery supraspinatus impingement and tear. So what is rehab? Rehab is the process of helping a person recover and or restore their physical, mental, or emotional well-being after an illness, injury, or surgery. What is a supraspinatus impingement and tear, and how does it happen? A supraspinatus impingement is caused by the compression or pinching of the supraspinatus between the acromion and humeral head. This can be caused by impact, overuse, and constant overhead movement. A tear occurs when the tendon and muscle are partially or completely damaged. This is usually caused by chronic impingement. Other causes can include trauma and aging as well. So some complications for failure to perform rehab exercises include 1. Tendon re-tearing. In some cases, if the tendon isn't properly realigned or if the scar tissue encases the tissue, there is a high chance that the muscle will tear again. 2. Of course, is atrophy. When failing to perform the exercises provided to you by your physical therapist, of course, your muscles will undergo atrophy. And three being scar tissue. Lack of proper rehab on can cause the scar tissue to interfere with the way the tissue heals as well as the movement of the joint. So some goals to accomplish during rehab are one, pain management, reducing inflammation and alleviation of pain to allow for functional movement in the joint, Two is restoration of range of motion, improving shoulder mobility to restore normal, normal function and prevention of stiffness, and three being strengthening and stabilization. Strengthening the supraspinatus along with the surrounding muscles and the rotator cuff also help um, restore your health. So what are some typical treatments or surgeries? Number one being an arthros arthroscopic rotator cuff repair. Um, this is done by making a small incision, and a camera is then inserted to help guide the surgeon. The surgeon then uses suture anchors to reattach the torn tendon to the bone. These anchors are either metal or biodegradable. Two is subacromial decompression, which is also known as acromioplasty. This surgery relieves impingement by increasing space in the subacromial region. This surgeon removes and or reshapes the undersurface of the acromion to reduce pressure on the supraspinatus. Three being an open rotator cuff repair. This surgery is for large or more complex tears that cannot be repaired arthroscopically. And this, inc this incision is a lot larger and the torn tendon is sutured to the bone. So after one of the three surgeries that you may undergo, here are some of the exercises that you will do. For range of motion, you should do pendulum swings, which improve shoulder mobility and reduce stiffness. Wall angels, which improve scapular mobility and shoulder posture. Sleeper stretch, which stretches the posterior shoulder capsule and improves internal rotation. Cross body stretch, which stretches the posterior, posterior and lateral shoulder muscles. Spider walks, which engages the muscles around the shoulder, including the rotator cuff and scapular stabilizers, which are crucial and critical for shoulder stability and function. So regarding strengthening exercises, you should do external rotation with resistance band. This strengthens the infraspinatus and teres minor to support the supraspinatus. Side-lying external rotation. This isolates and strengthens the rotator cuff muscles. Prone shoulder extension. This strengthens the post posterior rotator cuff and upper back muscles. And wall push-ups. This strengthens the shoulder and upper chest while protecting the shoulder joint. And internal rotation with a resistance band. This strengthens the scapular stabilizers improving posture and reducing impingement risk. <clears throat> Finally, plyometric exercises. Um, the first one being medicine ball wall throws. This improves power and coordination in the shoulder muscles. Plyometric push-ups, which builds upper body power and stability in the shoulder complex. Third one being band pull-aparts. This enhances scapular control and posterior shoulder strength. Fourth one being clap push-ups. This develops explosive strength and coordination. And finally, Med ball slams. This develops power in the upper body and enhances shoulder stability. So for the range of motion exercises, these are all videos showing exactly how to do them. These include pendulum swings, spider crawls, sleeper stretch, wall angels, and a cross body stretch. For strengthening, here's external rotation with a resistance band, prone shoulder extension, internal rotation with a resistance band, Sideline external rotation and a wall push up. 
for plyometric. These are the med ball wall throws and slams, plyo push-ups, and band pull-aparts. So in summary, rehab for a supraspinatus impingement and tear is crucial to restore shoulder function, reducing pain, and preventing further damage. Proper rehab helps rebuild strength, flexibility, and stability in the rotator cuff region, ultimately allowing return to normal activities and sports. Thank you.